The following is a step-by-step -step video instruction guide to properly and safely use your new Vaporlux Vapor Blast. Although this video demonstrates proper use and care, it is not a substitute for your Vapor Blast user manual included with your machine. All Vaporlux machines come with some basic tools and attachments for use, such as a squeegee tool, a wide area floor and wall tool, a triangle tool, a hand detailing tool with optional tips, a 10-foot hose, elbow connectors, and a printed user's manual. Additional attachments and tools for your machine are also available through your local Vaporlux distributor or factory representative. The Vapor Blast is easily unboxed and is ready to go. Save your Vaporlux box and packaging in case your unit needs to be serviced in the future. When removing the fill cap on the machine, always make sure the gauge is reading zero and there is no pressure. Fill with clean, warm, or hot water. The opening of the tank is narrow, so using a funnel or filler bottle will help avoid airlock while filling. Shaking the machine slightly while filling will break airlocks if they should occur. Replace the cap and screw back on until only finger tight. Over tightening the cap can lead to premature wear on the cap seals. Wipe up any water with a clean cloth. Your Vapor Blast will run on a standard 120 volt grounded outlet. However, it is ideal to plug into outlets on a dedicated circuit, preferably 20 amp if possible. Make sure to check circuits and breakers before use. There is a circuit breaker reset button located on the bottom of the unit for load protection. There are two switches on the Vapor Blast, one on off power switch and a steam switch. Turn on the power switch, leaving the steam switch in the off position. Open the door on the front of the machine and insert the hose into the machine and close the door to lock. To remove the hose, simply push on the release tab and pull out. When the pressure gauge on the machine reads about 72 psi, about 20 to 25 minutes, the green indicator light on the machine will illuminate and it is safe to turn on the steam switch. The machine is now ready for use. It is important to note that the green light will turn on and off during normal operation. Before getting started, it is important to purge the hose of liquid. With your hands out of the way, aim the hose at a cloth or rag and squeeze the trigger until all water is released and only vapor comes out of the hose end. Wait for the green light to illuminate once again. The vapor control knob located next to the fill cap allows you to control the amount of vapor coming out of the hose. Start with the dial turned up slightly to a low setting. It is important to note that using a high setting on the vapor control knob will drastically decrease the amount of machine runtime and will use too much water in the process, reducing how effective your machine will perform. There are many optional tools that can be used with your Vaporlux machine. The tools provided can all be used in conjunction with one another through interlocking extension wands and hand tools. The extension wands can be used individually or can be locked together for use of the various wall and floor attachments. Simply insert, turn and lock, and they are ready for use. The 10-inch wall and floor tool is ideal for cleaning walls and floors, as well as mattresses and upholstery. The brushes help in loosening dirt and the tool also has clips to hold a microfiber cloth for mopping many different surfaces. The triangular brush attachment is used for mattresses and upholstery or for corners and tough to reach areas on floors and walls. It also has clips to attach a microfiber cloth. The 10 inch squeegee attachment is another great tool to help clean smooth surfaces like glass walls, mirrors, restroom partitions, and more. The hand tool provided has several screw-on attachments which are used for specific applications and surface types. Use the small nylon head for fabrics or soft surfaces like formica countertops or any surface susceptible to scratching. 
the nylon brushes are gentle and will not scratch. The nylon head is also ideal for the removal of chewing gum from floors or carpet, as well as grouted tile. The brass head attachment is used for dirt, grime, and grease that discolor and fill grout lines, causing odor in kitchens and restrooms. A simple back and forth motion over the grout lines and soil or grease is quickly removed. Use the stainless steel head for stainless surfaces that have stubborn dirt buildup like friolators, stove tops, and range hoods. It can also be especially effective in cleaning any moving metal parts in food processing where parts are covered with sticky residue. The 2-inch circular nylon detail brush is used to clean cove base in restrooms and other areas where buildup of dirt and detergent has accumulated on the surface over time from daily mopping. When the tank is getting close to empty, the red indicator light will illuminate. Shut the power switch to the off position. Leave the steam switch on. Turn the volume dial to its maximum level. Remove the wand from the hose and squeeze the trigger on the hose until all of the pressure in the tank has dissipated. The refill cap cannot be removed until all pressure from the tank is released. Once the gauge has reached zero, turn off the steam switch the cap can now be removed and the tank can be refilled. When you are finished using your machine, shut off both switches. Wrap up the power cord and hose and the machine is ready for storage. If you are planning to store the unit for an extended period of time, you should drain all water from the tank. As in previous refilling procedures, release all pressure in the machine with the hose and vapor control knob all the way up. Turn off the steam switch and unplug the hose. First, remove the fill cap, then unscrew the drain plug located at the bottom of the machine to release all water left in the unit. Screw the drain plug back on finger tight and it is set for long-term storage. In some cases, the repeated use of standard tap water can lead to mineral deposits that can build up in the machine. To descale your machine, make sure the water is drained from the machine using the drain plug on the bottom of the unit. Tighten back up finger tight. Fill the machine as previously shown with about one quart of water. Add a standard descaler following the manufacturer's instructions. Never use vinegar or CLR to descale your machine. Top off the tank with more water and screw the cap back onto the machine and move the unit back and forth to mix the water and descaler. Let the machine sit for 24 hours. After 24 hours, remove the drain plug and drain the tank. Refill the tank with fresh water. Shake the machine around to catch any chemical residue still left in the tank and then drain once again. Descaling is complete. For questions or concerns regarding the safe and proper use of any Vaporlux product, please refer to your instruction manual or visit our website at vaporlux.com. <laughs>